Hi, welcome everyone to this week's episode of CounterPoint. I'm Mike from the Wells Tech Team. And I'm Jeremy from the Catalog Department. And what we're going to talk today about is fuel pump driver modules. Mike, what is a fuel pump driver module? Well, a fuel pump driver module does exactly what it sounds like. It drives the fuel pump. So it can be called a fuel pump driver module, fuel pump control module, fuel pressure module, anything like that. They kind of all do the same thing. They control the fuel pump. They're an electronic module that controls the power in the ground for the pump to adjust its output, adjust its pressure pressure level and to uh, drive the fuel pump. Okay. So we get a lot of calls on these things, especially this one here. So what do you guys, what do you guys get for these? In the catalog department, mm -hmm. this DM103 here uh, fits 07, 09, roughly GM uh, vehicles. Okay. Get a lot of phone calls asking if it needs to be programmed. Does okay. it need to be programmed? Right, it does. The, the Chevy one, and this is common to like Chevy trucks and SUVs, right? Yep. It's, it does need to be programmed, but it's not actually this, this module here that has to be programmed, it's the vehicle. The vehicle software needs to be taught or told that it has a new module installed in order to use it. So you have to hook up to that data link connector and use some sort of compatible scan tool with a module programming device in order to program the engine computer to accept this new module. Without it being programmed, the truck's not going to start. So let's say you're driving down the road, you have an intermittent stall concern, because that's, that's common with these. These are controlling the fuel pump, so if it fails, you'll be driving down the road and your truck will stall out, uh, you'll have no fuel pressure. Okay, so you get back home, you put a new fuel pump driver module in, great. But the truck still isn't going to start. It does need to be taken somewhere or have a scan tool hooked up to it that's able to do the reprogramming. Okay. That, that's good to know. We get a lot yeah, of calls on that exactly. one. Exactly. Now, DM100 fits some Ford application. Does that one need to be programmed? The DM100 does not need to be programmed. It's a plug and play module. So, same, same scenario, you're driving down the road. Comment on these also. Intermittent stall concern. You drop the fuel pump. You have no fuel pressure. You go underneath, underneath the vehicle, towards the back. That's where these are located. You go under there, swap out this DM100 with a new one, and you should be good to go. The truck should start right up if there's nothing else wrong with it. Okay, now is there any other components um, when, when this goes bad that we should check? There are. The DM100 is common to corrode through or actually end up with a hole in the aluminum. Well, when you get a hole in the aluminum, it's not sealed up anymore. Water can get in there and short out the module internally, causing the fuse to blow. Okay. So you blow a fuse, you have no power running back to this thing, you still are not gonna have fuel pump operation after you change this out. So double check those fuses because it's common for them to blow when this thing shorts out. Okay, so, so both, basically both of these are exposed to the elements exactly. underneath the vehicles. Exactly. Um, which explains, can you explain what these, uh, what these screws are for? Yeah, these, this bolt kit that comes with the DM100 is actually intended to space the module away from the frame that it's mounted to. There was, Ford originally had this thing mounted tight against the frame, so it's, it's buttoned up tight against here, and water and salt water and all these other corrosion materials are able to get behind here and just eat away this aluminum. And that's what causes it to fail. So they came out with this bolt kit that you thread these bolts in and it spaces the module away about a quarter of an inch, three eighths of an inch or so in order to um, allow for those contaminants to pass behind there without getting trapped in there and eating the module away. Okay. Really uh, helps promote the longevity of it. Okay. Now, this is GM and Ford. Are there any mm -hmm. other, other makes out there that use fuel pump driver modules? Yeah, there are. You know, these are just two examples that we get common calls on. There are other ones out there, and uh, some of them need to be programmed, some of them don't. It really depends on the manufacturer, and uh, always, you know, consult your service information to, uh, to know that for sure. Right, and as long as we're talking about that, mm -hmm. um, if you ever have any questions on these in regards to do they need to be programmed right. or catalog information, exactly. just you can dial the 800 number at 1-800-558-9770 and then prompt one will get you in the tech department yep. and prompt, prompt two will get you to the catalog department. Yeah, so and we're always here to, to answer your questions about these things because it can be confusing. You know, you hook one of these up, your truck still doesn't start. Well, you know, this one needs to be programmed, this one doesn't, but this one's common to blow the fuse. So. Just some other things to look for, and that's what we're here for. We're here to help. All right. Well, I think that's all we have for you guys today. Once again, my name is Jeremy. And I'm Mike, and we'll see you guys again next time for CounterPoint.